How's it going guys? So today we're going to be replacing the center console latch in my wife's CX-5. She went to shut the center console the other day and now she just pop open. So uh, we got the part from Mazda. Here's the part number. I don't know if it, it's the same for everyone, but it was like $8, I think. Not even. Center console latch. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to replace this today. It's super duper easy, actually. So uh, you're just gonna need a couple screwdrivers. Uh, I just used a, a Phillips head to pop out the roll pin. And then um, I used a flat head and I threw some duct tape around it because I don't have any like uh, of those non-marring uh, interior tools at the house. So this'll do the trick so it doesn't like mess up the plastic. All right, so what you're gonna do is just get the screwdriver in between like the leather and the plastic and turn it, like like just turn it on each side and it'll pop out. Once you get this whole thing loose, it'll all come right out. Pretty much this whole plastic panel. Just kind of work around it so you don't break any of the mounting clips. But this whole plastic panel is gonna come off. Just like that, but cow! So now you got the panel off, the latch is in here. So now you can actually get out of the car. <laughs> so see there's just a pin here. We just gotta bop this pin out, and then we swap the latch, and we're gonna reload the spring. So let's move inside now. Just gonna take a Phillips head and a hammer, and just lightly tap on this till it pops out. All right. So now the easiest way to do this is to take a hammer, like I've done, and just like kind of bop it. And if you see right there, it looks like it, somebody got it there before. It's probably been replaced before. But just do like one or two little bops with the hammer with a Phillips head to where you have enough where you can grab it. And then I'm using just a pair of vice grips. You'll be able to grab this and work it out pretty easily. And then you just gotta slide the pin through the new latch, which will go here. Um, and with the spring just still in place and it'll be done. All right, with the uh, Phillips head and the hammer, we drove the pin back into place through the spring. I got a little kind of marred up there cause I had it on my counter. Um, but I mean, you're not gonna be able to see that. But anyway, yeah, I was like, five seconds it's fixed let's snap it back in the car and test it for the reinstallation it's like super simple I'm just gonna slide this thing right back in here there's little slots for the arms bazing and wait for it wait for it oh look at that it works Easy as that, guys. I'm pretty sure that applies to 2014 to 2016 Mazda CX-5s. That's how you replace that stupid latch. 